In the previous video, we learned about basic terms in statistics, including the differences between the discrete and continuous distributions. In this video, I will be talking about the first or maybe the most important discrete distribution, binomial distribution. One of the classic examples of binomial distribution is finding the probability of number of heads from 10 coin tosses. As you can see, there is a low chance to get 10 heads or 0 heads in row, but it is more probable to get 5 heads out of 10 coin tosses, right? It is less probable to have just one event of head or nine event of heads in 10 trials. When you toss a coin, potentially you have two outcomes, head or tail, and the probability is the same across all trials, and it's 50%. And each trial is independent from the previous one. The current toss might be head, which is independent from the previous toss. Okay, as we said, the number of all trial is 10. So n is equal to 10. And each trial is independent from the previous one. The tossing at the first time doesn't have any effect on tossing in the second time. Now, someone asks you, what is the probability to have two heads in 10 trials? We can use this equation to find the probability of having two heads in 10 trials. If the probability of success on any trial be P and be constant, in this example is 50% or 0.5 for having head, then the number of successes, let's call it x, two heads in this example, in n trials, has the binomial distribution and can be computed with this equation. Okay, so let's plug in 2 instead of x and 10 instead of n and 0.5 instead of p. The result will be around 4%. In binomial distribution, the mean or expected value is equal to n multiplied to p. And the variance can be calculated by this equation. With having this probability distribution function, we can plug in different values for x. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or whatever number you want in probability equation and get the amount of probability for number of successes in 10 trials. We will get such probability distribution function. What we have done here is to calculate the height of each outcome or bar in probability distribution function. Let's summarize what we have explained so far. A binomial distribution is a discrete distribution that models the number of events in a fixed number of trials. Each trial has two possible outcomes. An event is the outcome of interest from a trial. When the outcome of each trial is either a success or failure, the trials are called Bernoulli trials. Use the binomial distribution to describe the process where the outcomes can be labeled as an event or non-event, and when you are interested in the occurrence of an event, not in its magnitude. And finally, it is frequently used in quality control and inspection. One item could pass or fail the inspection. And also, it has applications in medical research and insurance. Okay, now someone asks you what is the probability to have at least two heads 
in 10 trials. This means probability of having 2, 3, 4, 5, or, or even 10 heads in 10 trials. Or we can say the summation of all bean heights. You might be asked to find the expected number of heads in the sample, which it means finding the mean of all trials. Simply, 10 multiplied 2.5, which is a 5 heads in total for 10 trials. Let's look at another example. What is the probability that three or more defective items are in a sample of 25 items if the probability of a defective part for each trial is 0.02 or 2%. Let's investigate this problem to see if we can solve this problem with binomial distribution. So question here is, does it meet the following conditions for binomial distribution? First, the number of trials is fixed, n is equal to 25. Each trial is independent of the other trials. The first defective item is independent of the second one. There is no relation. Each trial has one of two outcomes, defective or non-defective item. And the probability of an event is the same for each trial, which is 2%. So we can plug in those numbers in this equation and find the probability for x defective items. We are looking for at least three defectives. So x could be 3, 4, 5, till 25. So we need to find the summation of all of them. So the cumulative probability will be 0.01324 or 1.32%. Let's solve this problem in Minitab. Go to graph, select probability distribution plot, and then select view probability. And from drop down menu, select binomial distribution and enter 25 for number of trials and 2% for even probability. Select shaded area tab and select x value right tail and enter 3 for x value the last topic which i would like to talk about is the property of binomial distribution for a fixed n the distribution becomes more symmetric as p increases from 0 to 0.5 or decreases from 1 to 0.5 for this case n is 15 and for p equal to 0.5 is more symmetric than p equal to 0.1 or p equals to 0.9. For a fixed p, the distribution becomes more symmetric as n increases. In this graph, p is equal to 0.2. As n increases from 10 to 20 till 160, it becomes more symmetric. One of the properties of the binomial distribution is that when n is large, the binomial distribution can be reasonably approximated by the normal distribution. For example, for the following binomial distribution, p equals to 0.5, and n for this case is 200, and for this case is 1000 trials. In both cases, the binomial distribution can be approximated by the normal distribution. All right, in this video, we covered the binomial distribution. In the next videos, we are going to talk about the other important discrete and continuous distributions. We are going to release video series on different topics, including application of statistics in manufacturing and quality control, robotics and mechatronics, industrial machine vision, system dynamics, finite element analysis with abacus, GDNT and tolerance analysis, and many other interesting topics. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get notified when a new video on this topic is released.